Hello everyone, this is Mark from www.englishmark.net. Today we have a lesson dedicated and actually requested, requested by uh, a great student. Her name is Andrea from Argentina. She actually lives in Argentina, if I'm correct, Andrea. You can post after under this video. She requested this um, lesson and is the difference between have to and must. I created a very nice diagram, as you can see, <laughs> with two different colors, actually three different colors. Both are obligations. So uh, this is why probably you get confused, and many students of mine get confused, because um, they're both considered obligations. But how do we use them? Okay, first of all, uh, in the column, in the have to column, in the white rectangle, we have not auxiliary. That's right, have to is not an auxiliary. Instead, must is a modal auxiliary verb. So, auxiliary because it needs another verb next to it. Otherwise, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, modal is like can. Can is also a modal verb, and actually, I have recorded a lesson, a video lesson uh, of can. So you can take a look at that if you don't know what can means. Okay, so what is the, the main difference? As you can see, we have the red rectangle in have to. It says objective obligation. Okay, someone else thinks it is necessary. Is it, it is usually based on a law. This is what it is. Okay, somebody else tells you you have to or you don't have to do it. Okay, for example, okay, in some schools you have to wear a uniform. This is an objective obligation. So someone else thinks it is necessary. Okay, instead must is subjective obligation, subjective obligation, and the speaker thinks it is necessary, okay? So, for example, um, I can say, I must, um, I must learn Italian, okay? I tell myself to do it. We go to the next red column in have to, to express a strong external obligation. I Here I gave you an example. I have to arrive at work at 9 a.m. My boss is very strict, okay? So he's always looking at the watch or at the clock on the wall and uh, I, I have to arrive at work at 9 a.m. Otherwise, he would say goodbye so, goodbye to you, go home, don't work here anymore, you don't work here anymore, okay? This could happen because it's something, it's a law, it's something somebody else tells you to do it, okay? So, under must, we have to express extra, a strong obligation, okay? Not external, but it's internal, okay? For example, I must go to bed earlier tonight. Maybe because I have to work tomorrow morning. I have to work at, you know, 5 o'clock a.m. So I must go to bed earlier tonight. It's not based on a law. I tell myself to do it. So it's personal. Then we have under have to, something based on facts. And yes, we use it also uh, to base it on facts. So the example I gave you here is you have to work to make money. You all know that, right? You have to work to make money. Must, instead, is to show that we are certain something is true. To show that we are certain something is true. There is no heating on. There is no heating on. For example, heating is the, um, 
the device in your house that produces heat. You must be freezing. Yes, there is no heating on. You must be freezing. So to show that we are certain something is true. Okay, I have to tell you that um, as you can see under have to, British English also use have got to. Okay, you have got to instead of have to. But is um, is a choice. Okay, American English use only have to. They don't have this this difference, this strong difference. You you usually say, for example, if you want to go to the to the to the restroom, and, and you're in a class, you ask your teacher, um, or you tell your teacher, I have to go to the restroom. I must go to the to the restroom. Is usually not not used in in American English or Canadian English. Okay, we use have to. Okay, so must is only written. Okay, so there you have it, Andrea. I hope you understood. So uh, make comments if you wish. Okay, or questions. And uh, for all you um, the other guys that are watching, uh, I hope you share this video and subscribe to my channel. So see you next time. Take care. Bye bye everyone.